Chapter 20, Department of Veterans Affairs. Author, Brooks D. Tucker with input from Darren Selnick, Paul R. Lawrence, and Christopher Anderson. Tucker is former Acting Chief of Staff, U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, VA. Former Assistant Secretary for Congressional and Legislative Affairs at the FV. Um, and uh, former Marine Corps Lieutenant. Colonel, he helped craft the policy framework for president. Elect Trump's transition team. Tucker opens his review and call for reforms of the VA by stating the agency was in poor shape back in 2014 and improved by 2020 by adopting a veteran-centric approach to the VA's mission providing for veterans' needs and experiences in the key areas of healthcare, benefits, and memorial affairs. While reviewing management challenges facing the sprawling VR, his chief focus for reform is a call to eliminate social policies related to the promotion of gender equity and inclusivity, or the left's pernicious trend of abusing the role of government to further its own agenda. The VA currently serves 18 million veterans nationally. Of these 6.4 million, 9.1 million enrolled use the IV uh, for health care. The remainder use employer. Sponsored plans, Tricare, Medicare and Medicare and Medicaid. The VA operates 172 inpatient V uh, medical centers, VAMCs, which are an average of 60 years old in 1113 community-based outpatient clinics. CBO Cation Clinic, CPOOC, which are newer facilities. The uh, the uh, also manages a community care network, CCN, through contracts with Optum and TriWest third-party healthcare administrators. Meanwhile, VO benefits are administered through 56 regional benefits offices, RBOs, and hundreds of satellite sites around the country. While crediting the Biden administration for maintaining good V uh, governance practices, Tucker critiques its failure to maintain a genuine veteran centric philosophy with respect to health care delivery and its bias in expanding the unionized federal employee workforce. He sharply criticizes the, uh, the uh, policy of social equity and inclusion in departmental policy discussions that he says affect only a small number of veterans, uh, a veiled reference to LGBT plus soldiers, particularly transgender veterans. He aims vitriol at the VI's provision of legal abortion for the first time, calling it part of the grotesque culture of violence against the child in the womb, and argues that the VI lacks the legal authority and clinical competency to do perform the medical procedure. Tucker cites a persistent lag in processing and delivering timely benefits to veterans as a problem that the next administration will inherit. Given a current backlog of cases that multiplied over decades as more attention was given to the long-term health harms to veterans caused by their field. Exposure to defoliant chemicals and airborne toxins, including Agent Orange during Vietnam and newer chemical weapons since then. The VA has chronically struggled to hire enough people to process new disability claims and adjudicate appeals, Tucker states. Although V uh, budgets are high, the agency must improve its service delivery to veterans. Proposed reforms include rescind all V uh, clinical policy directives deemed contrary to principles of conservative governance, starting with abortion services and gender reassignment surgery. Focus on shifting demographics, regional migration, and needs of older versus new veterans. Restore and implement Trump Administration V, a mission policy to expand health care delivery to more third-party non-VI private health care providers that Biden administration decreased. Expand community-based outpatient clinics. Expand community-based outpatient clinics. TBO. Adopt a Veterans Bill of Rights and codify V, a mission policy to clarify veterans' benefits and support greater access to private health providers by revising community care regulations, particularly sections 101, 103, 104, 152, 152, 161. Encourage V uh, medical centers to seek out relevant academic and private sector input to improve patient experience. 
in fiscal oversight conduct an independent audit of the uh, the B18D uh, to review rising infrastructure costs and VA facility used to align with needs extend the undersecretary for health term to five years and consider appointing them to a second five-year term to protect the U. Shh. Political transition. Streamline the process for reviewing disability claims. Improve management. Hire more private companies to help. Develop a new pilot. Express 30 commitment to review claims in 30 days. Upgrade the VA's performance by embracing technology and tech training for personnel. Hire more veterans and their spouses to work in the VA. Eliminate or rescind all Biden V. Eliminate a recent all Biden VA policies on day one of a new administration. On day one, transfer all executive level appointees to ensure political control of the VA. Hire more limited term appointment senior executive service positions up to three years. B. Prepare to enact labor reforms quickly and anticipate the legal challenges. Sunset the Office of Accountability and Whistleblower Protection. O. Uh, w. P. D. Link the Human Resources Administration and Office of Security and Preparedness. L. C. P. As their missions are too different. Commentary. Tucker has limited criticism of the Biden administration's governance of the VA. His discussion suggests a grudging respect for the present management of the VA, apart from chronic problems like slowness, inadequate hiring, and inheritance of a growing caseload of claims related to exposure to toxins. His opposition to left policies on gender, diversity, and equity, and to abortion and gender assignment surgery services for veterans are in line with other authors in Project 2025's overall goal of eradicating gender, D. Uh, and diversity reforms from government policy. His call to increase use of private non-V uh, providers, clinics, and companies to help assess VA disability claims reflect a conservative position that favors shifting federal dollars and authority to the private sector where possible. Chapter 20. Key points. On day one, eliminate Biden v. a policy's new administration. On day one, remove all senior Biden appointees, federal appointees, Act early to be ready for day one labor reform implementation and legal challenges. Eliminate VA uh, support for uh, abortion, gender reassignment surgery, diversity initiatives, and align all policies with conservative pro-life values. Increase private sector delivery of VA health services administration of benefits.